Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Motions Biz here and thank you so much for continuing to watch the videos and tuning into the channel. And I know that I have been gone for uh, for quite a while. Uh, life has been busy, but of course, I still get a lot of these questions and a lot of experiences shared by uh, Navy Federal members and our subscribers regarding Navy Federal credit cards and accounts. And to our new subscribers, Thank you for being here and especially those who have been with me through the years since I got started. So one relevant experience shared by one of our members, I think will apply to a lot of you who are looking at asking for a credit limit increase. And so today we will talk about mistakes to avoid when asking for a credit limit increase with Navy Federal. The first thing that I have on my list is making sure that you do not have any late payments on your credit card when you ask for a credit limit increase. And with that also goes that make sure that you do not have any derogs on your credit report as well. Clean up your credit profile before you ask for a credit limit increase. Thank you to those of you who have shared your experiences with Navy Federal that when you had a late payment, you forgot that you had a late payment and you were denied a credit limit increase. Of course, it may be possible that there are other factors to that, but just remember, no late payments, no derogs with Navy Federal credit cards. Another mistake that one can make when asking for a credit limit increase with Navy Federal is not building up their credit profile with Navy Federal before they ask for a credit limit increase. Let's say you already got a credit card with Navy Federal, but you have limited accounts or you have limited usage of Navy Federal products. So just building up or beefing up your credit profile with Navy Federal can really help. And I know that there are exceptions to the rule. There are Navy Federal members with excellent credit profiles, even on their personal credit profile. So they still get approved. But for us, for me, I really had to build that up with Navy Federal that allowed me to get the maximum credit limit increase when I asked for the CLI. I have discussed in many of my previous videos, there are many ways that you can build up your credit profile with Navy Federal. One is doing a pledge loan, doing the certificates, doing direct deposit. And the more that you try to build that relationship, and I know that many might say that you don't really need to build a relationship with Navy Federal, but for credit beginners, for credit rebuilders, I really would recommend that because it does make a difference when you ask for a credit limit increase with Navy Federal on your credit cards. A third mistake that you have to watch out for when you ask for a credit limit increase is to remember that on your first request, you have to wait 91 days or more before you ask for that first credit limit increase. And I know that many of you have shared that you missed out on uh, a few days uh, short of that 91 days and you were denied. But when you went on ahead and applied again for a credit limit increase a few days later, when you have completed that 91 days, you were approved. So just something to remember. Oh, and by the way, on your second request, make sure that it has been at least six months for your second credit limit increase request. Number four, and this is about how to apply for the credit limit increase request. Now, when you apply for a credit limit increase online or calling Navy Federal over the phone, you already know that some of you have experienced that you got a hard pull. So the best way to do a credit limit increase request is on your app. However, it does not mean that you will not incur a hard pull when you do it on the Navy Federal app. It can still happen, but it is less likely. But when you call them, guaranteed, you will get a hard pull. And that's just the way Navy Federal is. And I know that many of you have also mentioned that when you call them, you always got informed that it will be a hard pull. When you apply for the credit limit increase on the app, it will still let you know before you hit that submit button you will notice that it will tell you that it will check your credit profile it will review 
your credit worthiness. So it will be likely that it will only be a soft pull. So like I said, it can happen. It can still happen that you will get a hard pull applying for the credit limit increase on your Navy Federal app, but it is less likely. When you call them over the phone many times, it is a hard pull. And last but not the least is something that was shared by one of our community members, and that is when you ask for a credit limit increase, make sure to add that maximum $8,000 on your existing credit limit. So let's say if you have a 10K credit limit on your credit card, make sure that you add $8,000 to that, making your request $18,000, okay? Because with this subscriber that we have, he asked for an $8,000 credit limit increase on the app but he already had $5,000 as the current limit for his credit card. So when he was approved, he got approved for $8,000, but he in fact got only $3,000 credit limit increase. And I actually made this mistake on my first credit limit increase request on my cash rewards credit card. So again, just remember that when you ask for a credit limit increase with maybe federal, for that maximum $8,000, add the $8,000 to your existing limit. And that way you will get the maximum credit limit increase. So anyway, I thank you again for continuing to support the channel and continuing to tune in. And again, if you have anything to share about the credit limit increase, write that down in the comment section below. So have so, a great day. Until next time, this is Motions Biz.